Okay, so first I'm going to show you the lab where we all work, um, and you'll see that having 12 of us in there is quite cramped. I'll show you. So, the moment we get to use this bay, which really should only have four people in it, okay? And this one, which also should only have three or four people in it. At the moment, there's 12 of us crammed in between these two bays. For example, if I want to come in and do an experiment, there's not always an empty bench. So I have to move some of the stuff out of the way or wait for them to finish. Um, and when you're working, doing an experiment, something that's quite technical and you feel crowded, you kind of feel under pressure to work too quickly. Or... So the contingency for me when I arrived was I'd probably have myself and one other person or two people by now. And in the two years that I've been here, we've suddenly got 12 people, which is a function of the of the worms being really exciting. So I had a lot more applications than I expected. Um, hit grants, and so you employ people, and you don't, so you don't turn people, you don't turn good people away, you try and squeeze them in. And so that's what we've been doing. So you go to the head of department and the head of institute who lives over there, and you say, I need some space, and can I have some more space? Because if we don't get it soon, our experiments aren't gonna work. So today, there was a meeting among some important people. Um, it's one of my tubes, oops. And, um, they decided we can have the space upstairs on E-floor, uh, which I've seen before and was suggested to me as a solution. Um, and so we're quite excited that we're finally going to get our own space and enough to work in. Everyone's going to have their own bench. We're not going to have to share or to spread out. The other issue is we keep our worms over in the other building, and that's just not convenient. So we have to walk between here and the biology department, which is about 10 minutes. And if you do that five or six times a day, you can see how that eats into your time. Why do you keep the worms in a different building? Because they're healthier there. When we were keeping them here, they were dying, and our experiments weren't working. So we're having to keep them in the, the other space I showed you last time. So, so these guys in the rest of the lab and back there work with yeast. Uh, and so we think that we're having problems with um, contamination. For example, they have, they have machines which they culture yeast in and they chuck out a lot of dust. And we think that's a problem. It's just that. You have to come look at the space, essentially. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of time to get it fitted up and fixed up so we can work there. It's a bit of a junkyard. So as soon as you have a lab that's empty, everybody around hears it's empty and just go dump stuff they don't need in it. Come on then. So it's like a spare room where you put all your rubbish. Can you show it to me? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to show it to you. Sure. So our departments are on this corridor, on that corridor, on this floor, on the floor below. So a lot of the general equipment we like to use that obviously we can't afford to buy ourselves but share between labs um, is here. So one of the problems with moving is that we're going to have to come down and use it um, until we have enough money to buy bits and pieces ourselves, which we don't right now. So that's one of the downsides. Um, and you'll see in a minute, one of the other ones is that it's going to take a lot of uh, elbow grease to get this set up. Okay, so this is it. Um, so as you can see, it's quite a distance from where we were and where from everyone else is. Um, it's quite a big space, so we're quite excited about that. So, this is the first room. So as you can see, if you look at the benches and stuff, they're old school. Which I don't mind, because a bench is a bench. You know, the first thing we would need is an ice machine, and we have one, so that's a good start. And I think that's the highlight, essentially, of what we have. Um, this is another space. I don't, I don't know if... We haven't actually decided what we're going to use what space for what yet. And this is the lab that was abandoned by someone. Um, I don't know how long ago, but you can see they're literally in the middle of experiments when they walked out. So we have to, and it looks like they just walked, walked out, and then since then people have been dumping their junk in here. So we're going to have to clean all this up. Look at this at the moment. Are you sort of feeling like, feeling like seeing excitement and potential? Are you seeing yeah, no, it's a, there's definitely some excitement and some potential, but I just sort of dreading the downtime. There's going to be a lot of downtime in people's work while they, when we move up. I mean, everything from shelving to getting the fume hood working um, to figuring out um, which, where we're going to put our microscopes. You know, it's all going to take some time. It's, it's an improvement, but um, I think in the long term it's a good thing. But I think for the short term, I'm worried about telling everyone in my lab, okay guys, let's go. Let's get some gloves on and some sponges and start scrubbing. So hopefully we'll get a bit of help from the department in terms of getting stuff thrown out. Um, but if we don't, it's going to be a lot of work. So you can see there's plenty of space, much more than we have. So in between the time I first came here to see this, a few weeks ago when the head of department said, you could be moving here, there was a bench here. 
on this wall and there was like desks and stuff that we could have used and as you can see now that people have found out that people are moving in they're starting to strip it at least that's what I think is happening unless it was in my imagination but certainly we're concerned about that so the sooner we can tell people we're actually moving up here hopefully they'll stop stripping all the stuff that's useful we've got to throw all this stuff away I'm not even sure what it is Ooh. and that's one good thing is that we're going to have an office which is big enough for all of us to fit in because at the moment we're spread between two different offices and that's not great for like talking and stuff there's more space back here um, so yeah so what we're really hoping is this will be the place where we can keep our worms so this room, although it looks really simple, is a crucial room. Because if the worms can come here and they're happy, we're quids in because we don't have to walk across to biology every day. Um, so I think this is the room we'll probably attend to first before the others. And the lab will probably do this without any help um, and get it locked down so we know what's going on in here all the time. Um, and yeah, there's, there's lots of stuff around here that we don't know if we're going to get to keep any of it. Or, you know, this would be a useful piece of equipment. If that's still here in two weeks, I'll be very happy because we don't have a big centrifuge. So, so this, is, this is an interesting room because this room, in this room, I reckon there was a very expensive microscope at one point and it's been stripped out. So whoever was here before us obviously had a lot of money because they must have had a big confocal microscope. So it's pretty good, huh? I'm feeling a bit better about it now and I've shown you around it. Doesn't look so bad, does it? It's very big. That's yeah, yeah. Under, yeah. So the nice thing is we can start to split our molecular work and other bits of work that we do, keep it in the same place, but keep it separate. It's important that we can do that. So the thing that has to happen pretty much from tomorrow and early next week is we have to give up our current office space because um, there's a new member of staff arriving who needs office space. So is this about? Is this about them saying? Nice one is these, we're giving you extra space because you're great, or is it about them uh, meeting to kick um, you out and having to dump something? Well, they've had, they've had um, a while to say, nice one is these, you're doing great, here's some space. But this was triggered by, I think, other people hitting grants and needing more space in the space we're in. Um, and so once those people who are professors and stuff needed space, then things started to happen. Where's your, gonna, where's your desk going to be? My desk is going to stay downstairs because I need an office where I can close the door. So I'll probably have a desk up here so I can work with everyone else, but I'll keep my office downstairs because if I run tutorials and stuff with undergrads, it gets noisy. So, so this is not a bad office. So we're all going to squeeze in here and hopefully it will um, lead to more talk about science and everyone being more aware of each other's projects. Because at the moment, one of the problems is with two offices, you get people doing one thing upstairs and talking about something else downstairs and you get cross purposes sometimes, you know, and, that, and that, that's, just not, that's just not good.